Welcome to Where Hawaii Eats. We are at Velocity Honolulu at MW Restaurant. Joining me today is Brad Nikolai, CEO of this conglomerate. <laughs> Brad, thanks for joining me. What's going on? Well, thank you so much for uh, allowing us to share kind of these amazing opportunities to feast yes, this on looks a midday amazing. afternoon. I believe Chef Wade is going to be bringing us a very special treat. There you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so today you have a sampling of a few of our dishes that we're going to feature at, uh, here at MW. Uh, this is our aipoke nachos. Uh, you got avocado salsa, aipoke, some wonton chips. Uh, these are our scallops. So Bristol Bay Debo uh, scallops sits on a bed of uh, kohlrabi dried scallop uh, gravy. And this is our tomahawk that we'll feature as a tomahawk steak dinner. Um, so brand beef, prime grade uh, tomahawk steak uh, with some roasted vegetables, uh, potato gratin, and that's our version of our steak sauce. So yeah, enjoy. Wow. Welcome. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so enjoy. much. <laughs> okay, where are we gonna start with first? Man. Hard to choose, but why don't we dig into that okay. first? That looks pretty amazing. After you, ladies first. So tell me how MW came to, I'm gonna just use my hands, how it came to Velocity, how that happened. You know, it's um, kind of funny when you start connecting all the dots and you start to put the story together, it really kind of focuses back on one, what are some of the, your favorite dishes and some of the great experiences that you've had over the years. And, you know, one thing that consistently came to mind was my experiences with MW and going to lunch there and um, having great dinners there. And it's, it's about these unique flavors and connections that bring you back to some of these great dishes that you had as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I think they're so unique in how they're able to convey that and I think that's why so many people are connected to their experience with MW. I agree, I agree. So there was two different opportunities, right? Artisan was brought back mm -hmm. and then MW is now up here. Um, it was a perfect fit for them. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about your childhood when you think about all the different things that you grew up, because you're Italian, Japanese, mm -hmm. so you must have, a, you have a very extensive palette. So what, tell me about your childhood favorites. You know, I think um, on my mom's side of the family, you know, we are multi-generational from, from Hawaii and, you know, my, my great-great-grandparents were Japanese, uh, my grandfather was a Japanese fisherman. So the conversation around food was so prevalent and a lot of my family members over the years married into a Hawaiian family. So, you know, you have this unique um, culinary um, mixed plate. You know, you could um, have New Year's at my grandmother's house and have all the traditional Japanese dishes. And then you could go to my cousin's baby luau and we would be making lao laos and squid luau. So having that type of um, experience growing up was amazing to be exposed to that culturally and the connection through food. The Thanksgivings are always amazing at your house. Yeah. It's always like a, a huge spread, so amazing. What other, so there's a lot of differences in MW restaurant right now. Mm -hmm. um, from the old location to the new, mm -hmm. you look at the decor, what other things are hidden, if you will, here? Yeah, well I think we wanted to do something special. You know, MW does such an amazing job from a cuisine standpoint, but how do we kind of elevate that guest experience? And uh, we really worked on um, creating this modern um, or contemporary Hawaii-like feel. And some of the secret things that we wanted to include was this secret room where um, if you truly wanted a unique culinary treat with um, a small group of people, that they could experience that. So we were able to design that secret experience. So hopefully you can inquire about that more. Nice, very yeah. nice. Well, we, uh, Jen is the, she's like, I believe she's the bar manager, what is her? 
title. S so she's far more than that. <laughs> she's got. She's like mixologist extraordinaire. Right, and she's a sommelier by she's, trade. She's amazing. So she's had, you know, she's worked all over um, in Las Vegas and Los Angeles at all these great, unique experiences. And I think um, that's what's so cool about it is she brings this um, metro. Um, experience to Hawaii and you don't often have that level of creativity utilizing a lot of the fresh squeezed juice juices and a lot of the local producers here but putting it in a craft cocktail that is like absolutely amazing I think that's a customized one for you mm. and this is she the Georgia O'Keefe this mm. is amazing it's totally embodies who she is after our commercial break when we'll be back talking story with Brad and learn more about the food that we're about to eat Welcome back to Where Hawaii Eats. Chef Wade has made this, uh, cut the pieces for us so we can try the steak. Let's try this, Brad. You start. Sounds amazing. You go first. I've been like eyeballing this thing from afar. This like, is all huge. day long. It's kind of amazing. I think I want to steal the bone from my dogs. I think, sure. I, you, know, you have lots of dogs, so yeah, I think they can all partake in that. Let's try this. So only in Hawaii would you actually use chopsticks to grab uh, a piece of the steak. But yeah. hey, when in Hawaii, let's do it. Super exciting. Can I help you here? Yes, thank you very good? much. Oh I'm my try god. One more, one more piece, just because <laughs> two is always a charm. Oh my god. This is all. This is amazing. It's beautiful. This is unbelievable. So Velocity, that's the name of this, where we are. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that name and what does that mean? You know, it's funny, when you go through the whole process on kind of creating a, um, a new experience, you know, this is part of a uh, partnership in which we developed um, Symphony Honolulu, which is a luxury residential tower. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to um, create this unique multi-use experience with all these wonderful European brands that we were bringing here to Honolulu. And, you know, you talk to different ad agencies and they come up with all these creative ideas. And in the end, I, I just said, hey, what about Velocity? That'd be kind of cool. So you came up with the name. Believe it or not, I had all these fancy people giving me all these recommendations and lo and behold, we came up with a name myself. So you're um, kind of fancy. Not really. I'm really a local boy at heart. But I think, you know, more importantly, you know, it's not just about the cars and, 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 and how unique and how quick they are, but it's more about just the progressive nature of what's happening in Kaka'ako. Mm -hmm. I think it's just an interesting place, you know, where people can live, work and play and it's moving forward and being progressive. And I think um, what Artisan is doing and what MW is doing as well is progressive and forward. Yeah. And I think that's what we need in Honolulu to really kind of make it a dynamic environment. And, and MW is a great opportunity to kind of connect the dots for us. I love that, you know, the location of where you guys are, it's very um, easily accessible with all of the different types of residences around you. Right. We've seen so many people walk in yeah. um, and, and, you know, be able to get takeout um, and order, you know, to sit in and dine, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner, everything right. that they, they need. And it's like maybe two steps away. So it's really, really smart. Right. I think it's fun. You know, when you think about Kakaako, you're really four blocks from everywhere. So from all the Moana shopping center to the beach, I think it's, uh, it's great for all of that, really. So I hear there's a pretty amazing special that's gonna be on the menu. <laughs> you know, I haven't told anybody about it, but the mochiko crusted fish would be a great package. You know, for only $300,000, we might throw in a Bentley. Wow, that's a deal. Right? <laughs> so I thought so, but kind of a fun thing for someone to sign off on, you know, or you buy for your significant other that's as a, a nice wonderful present. surprise, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I think we can deliver all of that. I think that you can. <laughs> that is that is something to talk about for sure. Um, so this dessert, I know that Michelle has specific desserts mm -hmm. that she makes for MW, mm -hmm. and there's real gold on top of that as well. Mm -hmm. For more information about 
Velocity. Is there a website that folks can go to? Yeah, VelocityHonolulu.com uh, or visit us on Instagram at VelocityHonolulu um, or call us at 593-8888. We're located right on the corner of Kapiolani and Ward at 888 Kapiolani and get an opportunity not only to experience this amazing cuisine at Artisan and uh, MW, but you know, also get a chance to visit some of the most exquisite cars in the world. We always have uh, a fun collectible um, that's never to be seen, and it's a great opportunity to stop by and check those out too, which is always fun. And the $300,000 Wachiko chicken and Bentley. Cheers. Cheers. Where Hawaii Eats was brought to you by the Honolulu Star Advertisers Dining Out, Outrigger Hotels and Resorts, Cisco Hawaii, Stanford Car Development, and Hawaii Cancer Care. <laughs>